Hi, I'm Kyle Platt. I live in Crystal Lake. Um, it has come to my attention that there's been some closed door meetings with members or employees of the county with ISPs and other incumbent providers that are looking to divvy up the grant money that is being offered by the U.S. government with our Build Back Better program. And I find it unconscionable to continue to provide private providers essentially a monopoly position and have taxpayer money continuing to go towards that. They have had three decades to be able to build out, build out better infrastructure, serve and support the entirety of the community, and instead they choose to only take the most populous, most um, profitable areas and provide them with service. Everybody else can use their cell phone for all they care, and we all know how well that ends up working. It's time that we take that money that's being offered and treat internet like the same service that we have 100 years ago with electricity. It needs to be provided to every member of the community, not just the ones that live in our larger towns. The amount of, inter amount of internet infrastructure is becoming more and more important and critical to everybody. It's what allowed the majority of people to continue to work from home during the COVID pandemic and accomplish the record profits for the companies that they also work for. The requirement to have the upload and download speeds has changed significantly. We saw the internet incumbents remove their data uh, tariffs and remove the data cups that they had at the beginning of the pandemic in recognition of the fact that they needed it, only to reinstate them later because they recognize that it's a profit center for them. They need to, we need to start providing a better option to our citizens and to our fellow members. Community internet is our way towards this. And with these grants that are now starting to become available, we have this opportunity. We should not be picking any incumbent. They get profits, they can spend it themselves on providing that infrastructure to their winners and losers that they choose. Thank you. And one more note. The LBGT community doesn't bother me. They don't affect my life. They should be allowed to raise their flag. We shouldn't be caring. 